is a mode in music theory? Like, what is Mixolydian? Like, who even cares? Modes take the regular all scales we know well, like the C major scale, and shifts the notes in the scale to give us different sounds and colors. There are seven, count them seven, different modes that we're gonna cover in this video. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. In this video, I'm gonna show you two different examples of each mode. First, I'll show you how to find different modes by starting on different notes of the C major scale. Then, I'll show you how to find each mode from the root note of C. The regular all C major scale is considered C Ionian mode. It's your average Joe, the vanilla ice cream of modes, the mother mode of the rest of the modes I'm going to show you throughout the video. To show how they sound different from each other, I'm going to play the happy birthday song in each mode. This is the happy birthday song in C Ionian. Next we got Dorian mode. If you want to find the Dorian mode in the key of C major, you would play the C major scale, but instead of starting on the C note, you start on the D note. This is the Dorian scale in the key of C, also known as D Dorian. But this is not to be confused with C Dorian. The key factor of what makes a mode is which notes are being changed. The reason why starting on the D note of the C major scale gives us D Dorian is not simply because we're starting on a different root note of the C major scale, but because there are certain notes within the D major scale that are being raised or lowered to give us D Dorian. To find the C Dorian scale, you'd take the third and the seventh notes of the C major scale, which are E and B, and lower them one semitone. This is the happy birthday song in C Dorian. Next up we've got Phrygian mode. Phrygian mode starts on the third note of the major scale it's referring to. So the Phrygian mode in the key of C major would start on the E note. The name of this one would be, you guessed it, E Phrygian. Kind of scary, isn't it? Starts off with that minor second interval. Finding the C Phrygian scale is a little bit of work. We take the second, third, sixth, and seventh notes of the C major scale and lower them all by one semitone. This is the happy birthday song in C Phrygian. Next, we've got Lydian mode. In this one, we take our C major scale and start on its fourth note, which would be F. This gives us Lydian mode in the key of C, which is F Lydian. Kind of ominous, huh? It sounds like a regular old major scale until that fourth note brings in a little tension. Some may say it's even scary. To find the C Lydian scale, we take the fourth note of the C major scale, which is F, and bump it up by one semitone to F sharp. This is the happy birthday song in C Lydian. Next is Mixolydian mode. This mode starts on the fifth note of the major scale it's referring to. So the Mixolydian mode in the key of C would start on the G note. This gives us G Mixolydian. This one definitely sounds more like a major scale, but still has that little bit of edge to it. It's not that scary, I guess. But to find the C Mixolydian scale, we'd take the C major scale's seventh note, which is B, and lower it by one semitone. This is the happy birthday song in C Mixolydian. Next up, we've got Aeolian mode. 
This mode starts on the sixth note of the major scale it's referring to. So the Aeolian mode in the key of C would start on the A note. This is called A Aeolian. Doesn't that sound a little familiar to you? Doesn't that sound like, oh, I don't know, the A minor scale? That's because it is. Aeolian is the modal name given to natural minor scales, just like how Ionian is the name given to natural major scales. To find the C Aeolian scale, we take the third, sixth, and seventh notes of the C major scale and lower them all by one semitone. In Western culture, people tend to interpret this as a sadder sounding mode, a little mournful, maybe even a little scary. Here's the happy birthday song in C Aeolian. Last but not least is Locrian mode. What? You'll never guess which note this starts on. It's the seventh note of the major scale it's referring to. Locrian mode in the key of C would start on the B note. So this one's called B Locrian. Now this one's pretty odd, a little unsettling, and I would go as far to even say scary. It has a minor second and a tritone and no perfect fifth. Finding the C Locrian scale is even more work than the Phrygian. We take the second, third, 5th, 6th, and 7th notes of the C major scale and lower them all by one semitone. And without further ado, I present to you the happy birthday song in C Locrian. Modes are basically different flavors of major and minor scales. It can be helpful to describe the difference between the modes as being brighter or darker in color. If we were to order the modes from brightest to darkest, it would be Lydian, Ionian, Mixolydian, Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian, and Locrian. Lydian is brighter than Ionian because it's the only mode that raises a note of the scale by one semitone. The modes get darker as they lower more notes from the Ionian scale, which is why Locrian is the darkest mode. It lowers the most notes. Modes can make your music sound really cool. Try experimenting with each one to get a sense for how they sound. This will make it easier if you want to use them in your own music. What music theory concept do you want to learn more about next? Let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, it would mean a lot to me if you like this video. And subscribe to Song Psych. Thanks. Thanks.